This is Paranormal Short Session 3 by Keith Evans. I'm using the Flare TG165 to examine a plug-in air freshener slash at times blue blinking light that no longer blinks. Today is Tuesday, December 21st. Twenty twenty one. I'm having a hard time focusing it. It just goes to a whiteout. Now it's back. Okay, the flare TG one six five just timed out. See, at the top it looks looks kind of where I'm at now it's light pink and it's 76 degrees and I'm getting the white out. The pink is like 76 degrees going up here to where it's kind of orange and yellow. The orange and yellow is like 80.1, almost 83, and I'm getting white out again. Put the arrow on the uh, orange part and it get a white out. About 83 degrees with a white out. Eighty six degrees, eighty five. See that pink is cooler. The pink is like eighty. Well, that's starting to get warmer. Seven. On the yellow part, which is like in the eighties, five eighty four. Also have my uh, obelisk five. I like to ask, uh, is this? air freshener slash uh, blue blinking night light does it have a, a spirit that inhabits it if so uh, what is that spirit's name It's rough when you're touching it and it won't come on. Seems like sometimes I have that problem. There we go. Embark. I'm not sure. Okay, it's the level to spy B there. Embark is spelled E M B A R K. The shot is spelled S H O T. Embark shot. What does that have to do with the question that I asked? Now we're back at the uh, plug in air freshener slash blue blinking night light that doesn't blink anymore go 
go up here to the yellow. See if I get white out again. It's about 83, 84. Go down to the pink. It's a lot cooler. It's 79, 78. And white it. Timed out again. That's the night light. I like to know if there's a spirit associated with this night light. You know, spirits, I think, can use the electrical system to travel, and they might go in and out through the night light. They might position themselves there. By the night light. See now it looks like it's hot towards the back part of the night light. Almost like the heat is distributing itself throughout the night light. It's not staying in one spot. Uh, if it was just an electrical appliance. Seem like the heat would stay in one spot where it's kind of moving, almost like it's a living object. So that might denote uh, a spirit inhabiting the night light. Is that just my interpretation of what I'm seeing? Because before it was only yellow and orange up here. You can see a little bit of yellow and orange towards the front. You definitely see it towards the bottom. Where before all this was pink. Alright, let's look at the obelisk and it's just all pink. Obelisk, which is pink. What else can you tell me about this uh, plug-in air freshener? Is there a spirit associated with the air freshener? If so, do you have a name? My name is Keith Evans. I'm going to be using this on social media, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, if you don't want to be a part of that, then please don't choose any words. If you don't mind, then uh, help yourself uh, choose all the words you have energy to choose. I think embark means to start. Start the shot. Well, kind of a dead end tonight. Let's go back up to the night light slash air plug in air freshener. Hmm. Getting some white out conditions. I can't explain. Okay, that part, the yellow and orange is about 82, 83.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 81, just a narrow strip of orange and ye yellow. Well, it's around 82, 83 degrees. Over, over to the pink, and the pink is like 77, 78. And I Flare timed out again. There we go. We're back. Pink area is about 77.4 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Let's move up to this orange. Uh, crosshair of the orange is about 79. Let's go to the yellow. The yellow is 83, 82, 81. Alright, it seems like the energy, well, the heat is kind of transmitting through and not evenly, which might be an indication that a spirit is inhabiting this plug-in air freshener slash Blue blinking light. If anyone else has a flare, you know, examine your plug in air freshener slash blue blinking light and see what yours looks like. I don't think I'd ever been drawn to this except when I first got here, the air freshener didn't light up at all, didn't blink at all, and then it started blinking for about a week, and that's when I started doing the paranormal sessions by it, and then the uh, lid came off of the kitchen trash can and woke me up one night, and I yelled at the uh, spirit because they woke me up. And then after that, the light stopped blinking. So. Alright, let's look at the uh, obelisk. Oh, obelisk is whiting out too. That's strange. Yeah, it's pink. The obelisk is chargeable. It has an internal battery. It's not like the uh, plug-in air freshener slash blue blinking light that's plugged into the uh, alternating current. I'm not getting... Just two words. Again, my name is Keith Evans. I uh, like to hear from you. Uh, are you upset with me because I yelled at you about taking the trash can lid off? I mean, I wouldn't mind if you did it while I was filming and could catch it and show everyone at home. Uh, you know, the ghosts and spirits can move things. Well, when it happened at night, woke me up. And you're interfering with my sleep, so... You know, you can't blame me for being upset about that. So all I'm asking is that you communicate with me if you want to move something. As long as it's plastic, like the trash can lid, and it's not going to you know, break anything. I don't mind if you do that. It'd be nice if you could do it while I have the uh, camera on and I could get a videotape of it if you don't mind. I'm not getting much. Sometimes you never know. It's Alright, back to the uh Plug in air freshener while I'm getting this white out. If you're a spirit and you're uh, using this light as a That looks like a cold spot there. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. 
looking at there. Also, I don't know if it was a cold spot. It was dark blue, but it was like 71. Uh, I can't. Uh, it's dark, but uh, seemed like it was in front of the plug-in air freshener slash blue blinking light. Then it kind of merged with it. That was unusual. There's nothing there now. It's just light blue. That was unexplained. That could have been a manifestation of a ghost or spirit drawing energy from the environment. That was a pretty good cold area. Sometimes I just like to call them cold spots because they're kind of like a uneven round area, oblong area. Flare timed out again. So that might have been the uh, spirit that inhabits or uses the plug-in air freshener as an avenue to travel on the current, kind of go in and out. I would say if a ghost of spirit uses the alternating current of the building or house you're in, it's kind of like a uh, like a subway, and when they're out, no, I'm getting the white out. When they're out, uh, just in the air, it's kind of like them walking around. But when they get, when they enter through a plug-in air freshener and use the current, it's like a much faster system of travel. They don't have to generate their own energy to move from point A to point B. At least that's my theory. I'm getting a lot of white out. Now it almost looks like the it's a lot more pink. It's about seventy-eight degrees. Over here to the yellow. It's about eighty eighty one. Go up here is a little bit of yellow. Uh, eighty one. Uh, here it's about 83. Uh, about 81, 82. All right. That's it. There's the blue spot again. You see it? Ah, oh, man, it timed down on me. Let's go back and see. Yeah, there's the blue spot. It's definitely uh, going away from the, uh, I don't know. It almost looks like it's got a arm on it blue spot that's interesting it was closer to the uh, plug-in light but it's definitely there okay I got two more words waves and Satan well I don't mind the waves but I don't care too much for Satan So, let's go back to the blue area. Yeah, it's nighttime, all right. Right about that. Let's see if her. Well, there it is, but it almost looks like two objects now. 
kind of like a pink. Huh. It's almost like two objects and they're kind of fading out. There's one up top and it's like a triangle. Check that out. Oh, man. Alright. We got no white out. Oh, there's the, uh, See what the temperature is here. Seventy one. Seventy one. And this little object is seventy one, seventy two. Hmm. That's like two little cold areas. Does that mean there's like two spirits here? Uh, showing me the cold spots or cold areas. Can you cold areas go to the uh, plug-in air freshener? Can you get closer? It is like pink around it now. And that's not... It's probably five to six inches in front of the air freshener. Oh, that's definitely two distinct cold areas. Where earlier it was just one cold area, like it had a finger on top and it was pointing towards something. Hmm. That's interesting. It's like that cold area is getting smaller. Yeah, the cold area is kind of like dissipating. Huh. All right, let's see what we got here. Waves is spelled W A V E S. Satan is spelled S A T A N. Nighttime is spelled N I G H T T I M E. Let's go back up to the night light. I'm getting white out. And it seems like it's more pinkish. All right, the blue's still there. Two separate objects now. It's seventy one point three. This blue object seventy one point four. It's the same temperature as a pink area. Now the pink area is a bit warmer. Seventy seven point four. Anyway. I think I'm going to have to stop soon. I'm maxing out my space. All right, this is Paranormal Short Session 3 by Keith Evans. Uh, using my Flare TG165 to explore the plug-in air freshener. I'm saying good night. Uh, today is the what 22nd of... December 2021, which is a Tuesday. Have a good night.